ladies and gentlemen, the Tuesday Resurgence. We start this show off with a big time contract signing with Brock and Jericho. And here is Chris Jericho. the main event for the pay-per-view to be the first ever BFW world champion, but here comes the next half, Brock Lesnar. Since both parties are here, let's get on with this contract signing. Here we have the champion, Chris Jericho, and his challenger, the Beast, Brock Lesnar. But before we move on, I have to show you the World Championship. This is what it is all for. The Breakpoint Wrestling Federation World Championship. And now, let's get a word from Chris Jericho. This match is too important. Go ahead, you can chant it all night. I don't care. Go ahead, do it. No, I don't suck. Skiavone sucks. This match is too important to flip a table over on you or powerbomb you through it. I mean, let's face it, this is the biggest match. It's the biggest match in pro wrestling this year. And it's the biggest match of your career, and we know that to be true. Because if you win, you're gonna become what you always wanted to be, which is the world champion. Prove to you and all of these entitled millennial jackasses here tonight that maybe you're not as good as you think you are, man. So I'm gonna sign this contract and I'm gonna teach you a lesson about what it's like to be a loser. I have to contain myself a little bit here. Impulsiveness, yes I am. Very impulsive. If you think for one second that these skid mark security guards are gonna stop me <laughs> from jumping across this table and kicking your ass, and your ass, you got another thing coming. You see, the only thing that's stopping Brock Lesnar from coming across this table and kicking your ass and your ass is Brock Lesnar. And this contract.
received word that we have a camera rolling backstage. I'm not sure why. But Rhea Ripley and now Becky Lynch are backstage. Not sure what's going on. The four horsemen are showing up. Oh no, this can't be good for Rhea Ripley. But oh, Bailey's coming after her. Oh, Sasha Banks coming. She's fighting back. Throwing her right into Bailey. But it looks like Charlotte's grabbing a steel chair and just smacks her right in the face. Oh my god, Rhea Ripley's busted open from that chair shot. Now all four horsewomen are up on their feet and now they're just stopping away at her. Just stopping on Rhea Ripley. It's, it's horrible. We need to get someone back there. Someone get back to the helper. Someone get back to the stop this. Do we have no one here that can stop these people? Oh, what are they looking to do here? Someone get back there now. They got Rhea Ripley up. No, no, God, no. Right through the table. My God. We need to get security back there. It looks like Becky's saying something to Rhea Ripley. This cannot be good, but ooh, get someone back there to help Rhea Ripley. But we're going to move on to the next match. The mystery match set up by Stephanie McMahon. And I brought in Stephanie McMahon to solidify and bring in talents for the women's division. And so far she was doing great, and now she is bringing in two more talents that we've seen. It is Liv Morgan. Ladies and gentlemen, Liv Morgan has one great talent, and she will bring a lot of fire to Breakpoint Wrestling Federation. She will be a huge part of this women's division here. I can already tell you that she is going to be a star here as Liv Morgan is a part of this mystery match as we move on to see who the second one is. The doctor will see you now. It is Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, is here at Breakpoint Wrestling Federation. She may be the first ever women's champion. We will have to find out when we get farther down the line. But now we have Britt Baker and Liv Morgan, part of the women's division here at Breakpoint Wrestling Federation. As we sound for the bell in this match herself, both women go to center ring. Out like no! And she just... A dra arm drag got her arm in a lock now. Britt Baker, Liv Morgan, trying to get to her feet as quickly as possible. Try to get out of this arm. Looks like she's trying to turn it around on her, and she does. And she just drops her on her face there. And she's got her leg in a lock. Britt Baker's reaching for the ropes, and she gets it. She's got to let go. Liv Morgan lets go there. Liv Morgan getting back to her feet here. And she's looking to get Brooke Baker to her feet as well. Both women are back up. What is she looking to do here? Oh, just a big elbow by Britt Baker. Britt Baker on top of her head. And she just lays her down on her back of her head there. She's going for the pin. She is one, two, and a kick out by Liv Morgan. And Britt Baker leaning Liv Morgan up. Maybe to get her up all the way. Yep. What is Dr. Head? She just bounded on the back of the head of Liv Morgan here. As she looks like she's going to throw in the corner. As she does right in the corner. Her shoulder right in the pad between the turnbuckles here. Britt Baker shoving her out of the way. Looking like she's going to the top rope here. What is Britt Baker looking to do here? She's looking for the Pittsburgh Sunrise. Oh no, a cold breaker out of midair by Liv Morgan. She's got the upper hand. She needs to go for the pin here. Yeah, this might be a quick match. I don't think she's going for the pin, though. She wants to do a lot more as mushy as one, two, and has a foot on the ropes. She took way too much time there getting to the pin. But now she's getting Britt Baker back to her feet. Oh, both are. Oh. Oh, wow. Springboard dro bulldog there by Liv Morgan just planting her face into the apron there. Not the apron, the mat. She pulls her away from the ropes. Very smart there. And she's going for the pin. One, two. It's a kick out right away. Liv Morgan took too much time pulling her away from the ropes. But she had to. She Oh, wow. Great athleticism by Liv Morgan. And Britt Baker, a kick out right again. Oh, wow. Oh. Front flip? I don't. 
handstand. I don't know what the, these moves, gymnastic moves are, but it was very impressive. Liv Morgan jumping over Britt Baker to get to the top rope here. What is she looking to do here? Oh, my God. A double foot stop to the back of the neck of Britt Baker. Jeez. That could break someone's neck there. But my God. It seems like Britt Baker's okay. And Liv Morgan's lifting her up. And a pile driver to, Liv, to Britt Baker by Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan, I think, is looking for a pin. That Britt Baker kicks right out. Man, looks like she's really enjoying this match she set up here. With Morgan getting back to her feet. Getting Britt back to her feet as well. She's leaning her on the ropes here. What is she looking to do here? She's running to the other side of the ring. Off the ropes. And a drop kick to the back and spine of Britt Baker. As Liv Morgan is doing a lot of damage to the back end of Britt Baker here. By going for the back and the neck of her. And now, oh, Britt Baker trips her up here. Now she's got her in a hold here. She's got the upper hand. She lets go and leans up, tells her to get up. Both women stare down. Oh, my God, a hurricanrana by Liv Morgan. Britt Baker might regret telling Liv to get up. Liv going for the pin here. And it's a kick out right away. Liv Morgan back with the upper hand quickly to here, too. As Britt Baker does not had a lot of offense to go. Liv Morgan off the Just a wow. Springs off the middle rope and a drop kick to the face of Britt Baker. Now Liv Morgan looking to get back to her feet. What is she thinking to do here next? The bigger sound to come get some. And she does that. She misses the kick and a roll up one, two, and she kicks out. She's going to kick Britt Baker right in the face. Britt ducks it and rolls her up. Those women stand up and they're back to their feet quickly. They're staring each other down and they're locking up. Who is the stronger of the two? Looks like Liv Morgan and a clothesline by Liv Morgan and another clothesline. Liv Morgan, Britt Baker and a bulldog. The Liv Morgan combo, as she says. She's going for the pin. One, two, and she grabs the rope. Britt Baker too close to the ropes. Liv Morgan upset about that. She can't believe it. She, all that, she come back there. And she grabs the rope. Liv Morgan getting back to her feet here. Those women have done a lot here. This very impressive match already. Very impressed by both women. Liv Morgan, oh, wow! Wow, springboards off the sec off the bottom rope to the second, and then a leg drop, one, two, and kicked out by Britt Baker. But what an impressive move. She jumped off the bottom rope to get to the second, and then she just leg drops. But what is she looking to do here? Actually, kick up by Liv Morgan, and the crowd is loving this match, and they are loving these women here. Liv Morgan, oh, wow! Liv Morgan's going to run the ropes with Britt Baker and other plans there and she just hit her with a running shoulder tackle wow and Britt Baker is back to her feet Liv Morgan's getting up into the corner here and Britt Baker just drops her drops her with a kick and then Britt Baker heads out of the ring oh wow she took it right to the chest and the face of Liv Morgan Britt Baker going around looks like she's want to bring this match to the outside here Trying to pull Liv Morgan out. What is she looking to do here? This can't be good. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. She just hit the cameraman. What a hard karate. She just knocked into the cameraman there. Wow. But Liv Morgan, once again, with the upper hand. She, she loses it quick. But then she gets it right back right away as she is fighting. And oh, Britt Baker's right back to her feet as Liv gets back into the ring. And she just a super kick. Desperation super kick as she crawls back into the corner, back to her feet. Liv Morgan slow to get up as well. She's leaning all her weight, and Britt Baker's up on the top rope. Liv Morgan leaning over on the ropes. What is she looking for here? A Pittsburgh Sunrise. Oh my God, what a move! It was on the edge. It wasn't right in front of her. She had a, a Chappelle pin, and she kicks out. She was on the edge of the ring, not in the center of it. So she had to jump off awkwardly. But Britt Baker's back to her feet. What is she looking to do here? Looks like she's running the ropes underneath. Oh, 
my god, Oblivion, this is it. She's trying to go, oh, she, Britt Baker with the roll up here. Britt Baker's turning around. It's looking like she's walking in for the lock job. She's got it. She's got it in. Liv Morgan taps out. Words. Stephanie McMahon is impressed with that win. I'm impressed. Liv Morgan put up all these stops, even obliterated her at the end. But Britt Baker rolled it up into a pin and then into a lockjaw. And Liv Morgan is your loser. But we move on with this promo. Like Who am I? I'm all your sins personified. I'm everything that you don't want to hear and don't want to be at the same time. I am a very awkward truth. I am a violent reality. Cody, be smart, strong, accomplished. Obsolete, outdated. Getting to the point where it's almost sinful, but he's still trying to be who he is. And he surrounds himself with people that will endlessly validate him to push him through. See, they don't have their best interests with him, and I do. I am telling you right now, it's time to quit. I don't want to see you endlessly berating on, trying to pull the cart. I want you to go home. I want you to be with your wife. I want you to raise your family. I want you to be okay. I really do, Cody. I want you to be okay. 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 Now, I've simply spent enough time in purgatory to know that I will either get my way, and if I don't get my way, I will drag anyone and everyone down with me. I understand them better than you will ever. And often, more than not, they don't know what they want, and I know what they want. And they want unprecedented levels of violence, something that I will give them. I will take them by the hand. I will journey with them. There's no more stories, no more thought-provoking conversations, no more brawls, just the fight. A fight for what is right. And what is right is for you to go home. This company deserves a better hero. Cody. Me. Wow, what a promo. But we move on to the main event. Inner Circle takes on the Elite. And here is the Inner Circle. To Judas Effect is what ended the chances of Cody Rhodes last week. But some say it's because now it's like black in his ears, but the lights out. Psyche out, Cody Rhodes. But we all know that Judas Effect ended it. And, and Jericho, as we saw earlier, signed the contract. The main event is set. Jericho versus Brock Lesnar. But before that, we have this match. The Inner Circle taking on the Elite. And this is a big time match. This could have been at the pay-per-view, but they wanted it this week. What? One week before the pay-per-view, and here is the elite. These men, the young bucks are undefeated. Still, he hasn't found a lead. Hopefully, with teaming up with his buddies here, he can find a win. But Jericho doesn't think so. Jericho thinks King Omega is a bust now. He's not the same as he was back in those emotions. And even Ryan's had his back on this boat. And they both threw each other down. And he sounds in a bell. As both men go right for a lock up here. Test his strength, if you say. And then I think easily Kenny Omega is overpowering Sammy Guevara. He's fighting back, trying not to get pushed back into the corner here. But Kenny Omega is clearly a more superior strength. And athlete. But now he's just pounding away. Oh my god. And just a big chop by Kenny Omega there in the corner here. Sammy Guevara taking it like a champ. And a hurricanrana out of the corner. Sammy Guevara lays right on his head. 
Kenny Omega starting off fast here. He, he wants this win. He needs this win. He has not won in this ring. And he is wanting this one. As both Santana and Ortiz talking so much. Oh my god, they just drop kicks them both. He drop kicks them both down now. I think he's looking for the tag, maybe. Both men are dropped. Wow. And he gets the tag into Matt Jackson. Sammy Guevara up on his leaning on the ropes. Matt Jackson right across from him. Oh my god, a springboard drop right out to the arm. He could have just broke. Sammy Guevara's on there. Oh my god. There is no love in this relationship here. And Ortiz talking, trying to grab him. And he tried to tag in by Ortiz. Santana. Santana, clothesline, springboard clothesline onto Matt. There's so much going on. I'm trying to do some commentary and some storytelling. But I got it. And the springboard drop kick by Kenny Omega. But as I was saying, there's no love in this relationship here. As Jericho has brought a lot of enemies, but he has brought in a lot of friends, which is going to be helpful because they got a lot of enemies right now. And Santana's in the corner, and a big knee to the face of Santana. And a peg into Nick, and a, just a kick to the back of the head to Santana. Nick Jackson's first appearance in this match. Looking to get Santana up, but the inner circle has a lot of enemies here. They have enemies with the Elite. They have enemies with Kevin Owens. They have an enemy with Brock Lesnar now as they try to take out Brock Lesnar earlier. And they kind of succeeded, but they succeeded a little bit, but that just got pissed Brock off, and I feel sorry for Chris Jericho at the pay-per-view. And now Santana tags in. Ortiz, both men are in the ring here waiting for Sammy to get Nick back into the ring. For here, Santana's gonna pick up Nick Jackson. Now it looks like they're gonna go for a double team move here. I don't know what they're looking for. But Sant Ortiz got him up, and uh, looks like he's gonna pick him up for a power bomb here. Jericho knows what's gonna happen here. I don't. Oh wow, he's got him up for a power bomb. Oh my God, what a move! He's going for the pit, and then Matt Jackson saves the day there. But what a move! I think that's the street sweeper? I may be wrong, but Santana takes out Matt Jackson. Ortiz and Nick in the ring. And it looks like Sammy's looking for attack. So is Kenny Omega. They both get in. Sammy Guevara. Oh, my God. Sammy Guevara with the springboard there. But it looks like a V-trigger to the face to Sammy by Kenny Omega. All men are down, but Kenny Omega getting back to his feet here. So is Matt and Ortiz. I mean, Santana. My God, I always get their names up, and they're fighting it. They're fighting. And Santana taking him out. Wow. Just, just pushes him off the stage there. But if you heard from me, there will be a new stage. There will be a new arena. It will be bigger and better than it is now. And it will be exciting at the pay-per-view. Can you make it back up to the corner? Looking to get Nick into the ring. He does not Just a kick. Just a kick right there. A hard, stiff kick to Sammy Guevara. I mean, it looks like Nick's looking for some hold here. He's got his arms back here. Oh, my God. He's wrenching him back far. Oh, my God. Wow. And, but Samantha, Sammy, I don't know what I was trying to say, but Sammy's got him right back up. Kicks up with him on his back, and he just spikes him into the corner there. Matisse Santana up on the apron here. Looks like Santana's getting the advantage. Just a bunch of kicks. Bunch of kicks by Sammy. And now Ortiz. What's he looking for? And Santana. Oh my god. I'm getting there. It's just punching the crap out of Santana. Punching the crap out of Ortiz. Holds him. And now both Kenny and Matt are trying to cheer Nick back on. Huh? But what is Ortiz? Once again, I fuck it up. But oh my god. One suplex. Is he, I think he's looking to do the three amigos as he's gotten them up. And another one. One more to solidify the three amigos staring at Matt and Kenny. And he just hits the three amigo, as you all know. Eddie Guerrero, the late great Eddie Guerrero, was known for that move. 
And now Ortiz tagging in. And he's going for the top rope. Santana telling him. He's, I think he's, I know what he's looking for here. A frog splash by Ortiz. He's going for the pin. And a kick out. Sammy can't believe it. Neither can Santana. And now Matt and Kenny trying to get Nick back in this match. Trying to get him to get for the hot tag. But Ortiz getting Nick to his feet here. And looks like Nick's trying to pull him off. And he does. And he just a back kick to the back of the head of Ortiz. And now he's looking for the hot tag. Ortiz looking to tag in as well. And he gets it. Now Matt Jackson's in the ring. And he grabs on Ortiz's leg. Ortiz is trying to get the tag to Santana. But he grabs the leg here. Now we're, oh my God, Santana helps Ortiz grab the rope. And Matt is mad. He's mad he's going to get him in. And he's getting to the face of Santana. But he should pay attention to Ortiz. He's up on his feet here. Tapping on the back here. Oh, he turns around. Just stares on a kick. A big kick to the gut. Lots <laughs> of air wind probably out of there. Now Santana. Oh, he just, oh my God. What a combination there. And he tags it. Sammy, Sammy what the, wow. What a move. He just brings his neck off the rope. And then a suplex by Ortiz. And then Sammy goes with the swanton. Springboard swanton. Now he goes for the pin. And it was a kick out. But what a combination of moves by the inner circle. I'm very impressed. And oh my god. Just a standing flip. Why wow, not Kenny Omega comes in there. Gets him out. And now he's looking to get Sammy up. What's he looking to do here? He might have to get out of the ring here though. Sammy ducks out and Ortiz takes him out. And he's back to his feet. Ortiz takes out Kenny Omega. And now both men getting out of the ring. Oh my God, Sammy! Wow, imitating Cody Rhodes. No, Matt Jackson. Sammy was looking for the crossroads, and Matt Jackson turns it around and plants him on his. That was a lot of adrenaline and wrestling. Like everything he had. And now Santana looking to get the tag in. Ortiz cheering on Sammy. Nick is also looking for the tag. Both men crawling at him. And then they both get the tag in. And a springboard drop kick as Ortiz entered the ring. And he gets the tag in. Oh my God, I messed up their name again. And Ortiz gets the tag. And he looks at a clothesline there. And a kick. Super kick. The first one of the match. Wow. You think there's going to be a lot. No, these are these young boys are a lot different. He's going for the pin, and he's too close to the ropes. Wow, he, they're not going to super kick all the time like they used to. They're using it when they need it most, and he used it there when he needed it most. Now Kenny wants to tag. Matt wants to tag. Kenny Omega tags, and Matt Jackson. What are they looking for here? I think they're looking to end it here. I think they are looking to end it here. They're looking for a triple BTE trigger. Jericho knows he is afraid here. This might be it, and they hit it. Wow. Ortiz has got to be knocked out. One, two. Oh, Sammy Guevara saves the day. That would have been it if Sammy didn't jump in. But Snick and Kenny Omega picking Sammy up. I think they're looking to throw the trash out, and they throw him outside the ring. Nick, Matt, and Kenny over looking at Sammy, which might be his mistake because Ortiz is tagging in Santana and he gets the tag. Now Matt is staring off, letting that Sam, waiting for Santana to get into the ring here. And it's just a clothesline. He should have... Nick and Kenny were going after Sammy and now they got to turn around. And Sammy's back to his feet here. What's he looking at? Oh my God! Oh my God! Kenny Omega, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Just spiked him on his face. Wow, and Kenny Omega V triggered a Sammy. But Santana and Ortiz looking for a double team move here. Santana gets tagged out, and Ortiz into the ring. Santana puts it. Looking for another power bomb here. What is this? Santana then goes for the top rope, but a power bomb nonetheless by Ortiz. Pulls him up. Oh my God, a big kick to the face. Oh, and Kenny Omega trying to get in. One, two, three. It's over. It's over. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega have lost to the inner circle. And oh my God, Santana just spiked Kenny Omega out to the neck. This is, this is crazy. I can't believe it. The elite 
are not elite right now as the inner circle have obliterated them and they're all Cody Rhodes come oh my god no Jake Hager out of nowhere takes out Cody Rhodes Jericho and the inner circle oh wow what a power what a powerhouse just throws them on top of them the elite are all dead in the center of the ring oh and there's SCU with some blood pipe SCU trying to save the day but is that inner circle running away they don't want it they don't want none of it Jake Hager wants that. He'll take him on. It might not be smart. As both men hit him with a bite. And the inner circle are from running. And SCU saves the day. Jericho says they will rule the day. But ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the pay-per-view in a few days. Maybe a week from now. But get ready for it. It will be exciting.